Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be solving question 2181, merge nodes in between zero. The way we'll be solving this problem is by using two pointers. One pointer will actually be iterating through all of the nodes to uh, to uh, get the sum, and the next, um, the other pointer will basically be an anchor. So basically, it'll be pointing towards the first node. Um, that comes after the zero and the sum is applied here and then it's the next of that particular node is reassigned to um, the first node comes after the, the subsequent zero. Uh, so let's get started. It becomes a little simpler um, as we solve it. So we need two list nodes, right? So let's do that. So list node, um, since it always starts with a zero, which actually in our case really helps, uh, let's call the current one um, just assign it to head.next. So basically we don't care about the zero and then list node. And this will be like the new nodes that we'll be reassigning values to. Um, and then let's just call that, uh, like let's just assign that to current because this is where we'll be assigning the sum. So let's get started. So while um, current is not equal to null, so basically the point that will keep moving forward is not equal to null. Um, we first need to initialize the sum. So int current sum uh, would be equal to zero. And then while current dot value is not equal to zero, we keep adding it. So current sum would be equal to um, uh, current dot value and then you go to the next one current dot next right so once it hits the zero what do we need to do what we need to do is new node we assign the value to that dot value will be equal to uh will be equal to current sum right so like right here so in this case uh, if we take this particular example to uh, three, one, three, one, zero, uh, four, five, two, zero. In the very first iteration, it, um, it will look like this for one, zero, four, five, two, zero. So this is how, uh, the linked list will look after we have assigned, uh, the current sum and then you have to uh, basically move the current pointer. Current will become current dot next, and then um, new node dot next will be equal to um, current. So once we achieve this step, um, the new node will look like this. So we'll have zero as the head. It will have four, and then it gets it the next value that it points to will be four. So if you trace back to the head, uh, it'll be zero and then um, the new node will be assigned four and then it'll, then it'll point towards four, but the value of four changes when we go to the next iteration of the loop. And then in the uh, end, basically it'll be new node uh, would be equal to new node. Sorry, new node dot next. So basically, it's pointing uh, to the next node that we care about, and then we are assigning new node to be like the next node. Um, and once the while loop is done, basically you need to return head dot next. And the reason why we need to return a head dot next is because uh, be, uh, after the first iteration, when we saw the example, uh, we it'll have zero, a four, and in the end, it should actually look like uh look like this so and we don't really the value that we need to give back should have four and one so basically you return head dot next so that you're only returning four and eleven all right let's try compiling this oh wait let's try that again okay so the first few test cases are okay 
everything else is okay as well. Awesome. Um, so let's talk about the space and the time complexity of the entire solution. The time complexity of the entire solution is of n since we are iterating through all of the nodes. The space complexity is of one since we are not using any additional um, space, which is a, like at least it's like constant space, it's not necessarily growing. Um, that's the reason why we have the space complexity to be all of one. Awesome. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I truly really appreciate that. It keeps me motivated to make more videos. Thanks so much, and I'll see you folks soon. Peace.